Hey yo, what's up, 1-6 scale community? How you doing out there? Nanny D is back with a very cool figure, one of the highlights of this year. The second last missing piece from the Avengers line, the villain Loki. Got him today, very cool figure. Um, beautiful packaging as well. It's uh, actually the coolest box from the Avengers line, in my opinion. And also the figure, to be honest with you, um, I like this one most. It's really impressive, looks pretty sharp, very detailed, and um, yeah, you know what? Take a look yourself and then make up your own mind. So, here we go. Um, you see him here with um, Thor um, in my modified version with uh, the wider winged helmet more aggressive also took off the shirt sleeves show a little bit more muscle work and uh, put on bigger thighs you know to beef up the legs and I think now it looks pretty cool together with Loki makes a badass couple so yeah let's put um, Thor aside and uh, focus on Loki. So here we go. Excellent likeness and once again a breathtaking spot-on paint job. Beautiful. The complete figure is very very nicely done with all these different layers of fabric and mixed fabric, here are all the folded leather layers and uh, you know, complete suit looks just beautiful down to the boots, nicely weathered boots really phenomenal detail see I got him here, sort of the action fighting pose. Um, articulation is excellent, you can uh, bring it into any pose you want to. Side view the helmet. The helmet is a little bit a bitch to put on to be honest with you. Um, it comes in two parts and needs to be you know put and snapped together. Um, you know takes some approaches to uh, get it done. And uh, I think I'm definitely gonna keep him displayed with helmet, looks more badass than without helmet. And a spear. Um, by the way, the cape is not wired, as uh, some of you may have assumed. It's uh, just normal fabric that uh, falls naturally like this so yeah uh, cape needs to be attached at the uh, shoulder parts here just the same like with the Batman DX figures um, the figure comes with um, these accessories um, you get here the smaller um, spear or axe, uh, the handcuffs. Uh, you need to take off the hands to put them on, and uh, the chain is actually real metal. That's uh, the mask, the mouthpiece. And uh, yeah, I suppose these are like two throwing knives. Can't remember seeing them in the movie. And uh, yeah, all these different hands. Not too much, but um, as I said, I think all the money goes definitely into this costly costume that looks just amazing. So yeah, 
you know me, I do not go too much into details. There will be plenty of reviews pretty soon on the tube with a really in-depth review. Um, but I think it gives you an idea how the figure looks like and what you may expect when your Loki hits your door. Alright, fellows, see you around and keep collecting. Bye bye.